Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hi, my name is Vano. Welcome back to Dude Glam 2019, you guys. I know it has been a hot second since I've hopped on here and done a video for all of you. I apologize, but I am back and gearing up for the fall, winter. I'm just, I'm so excited for all the new stuff that I'm gonna be doing for all of you, and yeah, here we are. Let's get back into it. So today on Dude Glam, we are gonna be testing out and smelling and just talking about the new KKW Diamond Fragrance Collection. Obviously, I've done a bunch of KKW fragrance reviews on here. I will be doing other ones, so don't worry. I think. Actually, probably like at the end of the year, I'm gonna show you my entire fragrance collection and just go through all the ones that I wear. But anyway, we're just gonna be focusing on the new KKW Diamond Collection today. If you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I love having everyone on here and following the Dew Glam journey. And give this video a big thumbs up and hit the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video which I promise will be a lot more often, so stick around. <laughs> so if you wanna just hang out with me today and do some fragrance testing and reviewing, then keep on watching. All right, you guys, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I've got this wonderful four pound package that was just delivered to me from KKW Fragrance, and I've already gone ahead and opened up the box so we don't waste any time. Now, first and foremost, I have to say, I've already tried one of them off camera just because I was like so excited. So uh, that one was the KKW Yellow Diamond, so that was the Courtney one. But I saved unboxing the other two because I wanted to do it here with you guys. So what I really like first and foremost is when you get the fragrances, look how nicely packaged it is. I mean, each of them have their individual casing. Also, what's different about this is what I noticed, I'll just show you here. They come even more nicely packaged than the previous fragrances that she was shipping out. I'll link down below my other fragrance reviews that I've done on KKW just so you can check those out. But right off the bat, I mean, you've got this little plastic cover here and then every single one of the boxes also has another wrapping on top of it that you need to take off. And then also what I loved was that when you open them up is that they've got the little pull here. It's kind of like a, um, like a little drawer. So it's really nice, very accessible to get to, but also very secure at the same time. So I really appreciate that. I'll just go ahead and start with Courtney's because it's already unboxed. So here is the yellow Courtney KKW Diamond Fragrance Box. Again, I kind of already just talked about it, but it's got the little, you know, pull out right here. It has Courtney embossed on the side. And then on the front here, it has KKW Fragrance Diamonds by Courtney Kim Chloe. And then on the back, it says Eau de Parfum, 30 mil, and then, KKW Fragrance Diamonds Collection again. So very on brand and you know, goes right along with all the other kind of KKW fragrances. By the way, I have really been loving. Crystal Gardenia Oud is like fast becoming a signature scent of mine. I love that fragrance. It's so epic. It has a nice Middle Eastern vibe, but also, you know, it's like musky and florally all at the same time. And that's something I really gravitate towards. So Kim, keep rolling out Crystal Gardenia Oud. You're free to send some to me if you'd like. <laughs> I live for that fragrance and I take it with me everywhere. I wish you kind of came out with like the smaller version just so I could take that on flights and things like that with me, but you know, it's fine. I'll just keep going to Sephora and get those little sample sprays so I can load up before my trips. Anyway, back to this fragrance review. So I'm gonna open up the fragrance right here and you can see, ooh, it's, laid in there beautifully. And it just has this beautiful, I mean, she's not kidding when she says diamond, like this is a like a diamond, diamond collection. Also, look how well that's in there. Like that's in there. So Kim, I appreciate that your packaging is so secure. I remember seeing on Kim's Insta story, I think it was, she said she wanted the box here to kind of mimic like, you know, if you opened up a jewelry box and you'd have the, the diamond just laying right in the middle. Think of almost like a proposal, right? And it's like this. That's kind of, I think, what she was going for, just to kind of have that diamond on display. So I definitely get that vibe from this packaging. Again, well done. It's minimal, it's on brand, I'm here for it. I love also that Kim really takes the time to make sure her perfume bottles look like art. They have their own vibe and they have their own personality. And I really appreciate that because that's something that, you know, I'm gonna wanna hold on to and collect for a while. I mean, I'm Armenian, so sign me up for that Armenian bath. We'll just take some cologne or perfume, spray it on and keep it pushing. But anyway, I really just like the way this all looks. And again, if you're someone who collects fragrance bottles like myself, this is something that you're gonna wanna invest in. Here is what the bottle looks like. Also for the other two, they are exactly the same. They're just different colors. So Chloe's a light pink and then Kim's is clear. This I'm guessing is how the fragrance will lay. Okay, just flat on itself. Kind of like the Crystal Gardenias, they also laid flat as well. I'm not sure you could really prop that up, right? 
I think Kim also said she was inspired by um, like a Tiffany paperweight. So these might actually come in handy for like paperweights once I'm done with the, the smell. So here is what the fragrance looks like all on its own. It's beautiful. It definitely mimics a diamond and it's, I mean, I'm here for it. As a fragrance collector, like I said, I'm living for the packaging alone. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and read a little bit of each fragrance from the website. The opening is Golden Current Berries. The heart has yellow jasmine, yellow bird magnolia, yellow flag iris, and then the finish has white patchouli, soft musk, and whipped vanilla. Well, just from reading that alone, I'm not like too big into like the sweet smells. Again, I like more of like, you know, uh, musky florals and things like that are just really fresh florals um, so we'll try it out and see how it goes when you remove the cap this is how much fragrance you get if you just need something that's on the go or you want to keep in your bag these would be perfect for that because they're also pretty to look at and I think they're just easy to kind of apply or reapply throughout the day all right so let's go ahead and spray Courtney it's like a very sweet floral that's what it is Courtney is a very sweet floral. So I definitely smell right off the bat a lot of that vanilla and it is kind of enveloped with the floral scent. So floral in this kind of takes like a back seat to the sweetness, but if you're someone who doesn't like a lot of sweet, this probably wouldn't be for you. I mean, the vanilla is still lingering there. It's just, again, it's personal taste. So if you like like a fresh new kind of sweet um, floral scent, this would be for you. And it's also just really pretty to look at. Oh, hi, bud. Ask me, come here. Do you guys want to meet uh, my puppy? <laughs> hi. That's the baby. Yeah. Oh, you want to be my little partner here while we do the filming? Okay. Got him back in April. The sweetest, sweetest dog. And he makes me really happy. Okay, let's go on to the Chloe one. So I'm gonna unwrap this really quickly and then I'll be right back. Bam, there it is. Super baby pink. Also, I forgot to say that these retail for $40 on the website. I bought the bundle. Here is what Chloe's looks like. The exact same look, just different color. So we have Chloe and we have Courtney. Very beautiful. Do you guys remember watching Moulin Rouge and when Toulouse Trek is uh, introducing Nicole Kidman's character when she's coming down on the trapeze and he goes, the sparkling diamonds. <laughs> That's all I can think about when I'm looking at these. They are just the sparkling diamonds. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and see what this one smells like. To me, that doesn't smell sweet. That smells a lot more fresh. Ooh, I'm kind of really on board with that. Let's go ahead and read the notes here. Morning Dew Accord, Italian Bergamot, Sparkling Pink Puff Violet Accord. The heart has pink sapphire tuberose, blushing jasmine, sweet lilac blossoms, and then the finish has sensual cloud musk, dreamy white moss, and sun-drenched driftwood. Ooh. You guys, this is good. This is fresh. Oh my God, compared to the Courtney one, this definitely has a lot more of a sweetness to it. This is definitely a lot more fresh. So right now of the two, I'm really vibing a lot more with the Chloe one. It's not to the point where, like you know sometimes if you have too many floral smells, like even just in a bouquet of flowers, it can become too overpowering. It does, it just smells like a fresh bouquet. This is good, I'm here for this one. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the last one, the KKW Diamond Kim. Let's go ahead and open this up. Ooh. And here is KKW Diamond Kim. Wow, this is just like a big old diamond, like, hello. So here's what Kim's fragrance looks like, completely out of the box, all on its own, just like, bam, white diamond. And these are what the notes say on the website. The opening, tropical floral leaves, sugar-coated ginger, wild armoise Morocco organic, the heart, ylang ylang oil, cosmores orpo, orange flower absolute orpo, exotic sambaguita blossom, and then the finish has coconut milk cream, heavenly white musk, and solar white floral. All right, let's go ahead and spray. Okay, so this is the most delicate fragrance, I think, out of all three, and probably the most delicate fragrance that Kim has ever created in her entire KKW fragrance collections. It is so light. It smells like, I don't know, it kind of feels like if you grabbed a bunch of baby's breath. Like, this fragrance smells really delicate. If you're looking for a fragrance that is so light and just so airy and just delicate, this is the one for you. It just kind of makes you almost feel like you're floating in a very kind of florally haze. 
I almost kind of feel like I want to lift up in, in the air a little bit because it just, you just kind of feel elevated in a way. This is the most floral. This is the one that's going to give you the most kind of light and kind of effervescent feel to it. And it's just, it's, I can't describe it other than just the floral is the thing that comes out the most in this one. The Courtney one definitely has this kind of weighty feel to it after dusk, after midnight feel to it that just kind of lives right here. And then the Chloe one really kind of just circles around you and kind of keeps you more of like awake and kind of throughout your day. And then the Kim one just kind of flutters. It just flutters everywhere. It's super light. It just kind of keeps you elevated and high. That's really cool. They kind of have all these like three steps to it. It might be really fun to layer all of these throughout the day now that I'm thinking about it. I would start off with doing the Courtney one because it definitely has more of like that thickness to it. And then I would layer on top of that later, the Chloe one, and then I would finish it off with the Kim. So if you wanna go ahead and layer these, I think that might be really cool too. They definitely complement each other really well. None of them smell the same, which I'm really, really happy about. If I had to rank them, I'd probably say that the Chloe one, the pink diamond is my favorite. And then the second one would have to be the Kim Clear Diamond. And then the third one would have to be the Courtney. Again, the only reason honestly why this ranked third for me was because I don't like sweet scents. I like fresh and I like musk. Man, I'll go ahead and layer that with Oud because Oud has been mixing well with every single scent I put with it. Go and check out my other video where I talk about it. I mean, I give all my thoughts and opinions about it there too. And it's, again, it's one of my favorites. I know that obviously going in blindly to a fragrance is very kind of intimidating because fragrance is so personal to everyone and you really want to make sure that, you know, you have that connection. But for someone like me who just enjoys smells and, you know, all of that good stuff that comes along with fragrances, I'm fine with all three. They're like, you know, three new additions to my ever-growing collection of children of fragrances and colognes. So, welcome to the family, you three. Hello, my beautiful diamonds. My spa queen diamonds. Go ahead and watch Milan Rouge too. I know it's so depressing, but like, my spa queen diamonds. Well, that's it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I love having everyone on here and following the Do Glam journey. <sighs> It feels good to be back and filming videos for you guys again. Also, can we talk about quickly, like my hair has grown so much. Look at the inches and in length. I'm gonna do a few more hair tutorials coming up in the future, so stick around for those. Again, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And on that note, I will see you in my next one. All right, bye.